Mostly cloudy and a bit unsettled today with some spotty showers. Temperatures this afternoon climbed slightly above average. Our high 43. Early this morning, our low temperature was 32 degrees. Just one one hundredth of an inch of rainfall so far, but more is on the way by later this evening and for the second part of tonight. Those temperatures now for most of us near 40 degrees. We're 41 in Lima. It's 42 in Bluffton. 41 as we look southward towards Sydney. On radar, not much precipitation close to home, just some spotty sprinkles to the northwest around Paulding, a few more southeast of Belfound. But as I mentioned earlier, there is more rain farther to the southwest across Illinois, southern Indiana, and much of the state of Kentucky. This rain will drift northeastward. By later this evening, it gets here ahead of that cold front. The front will cross around daybreak. Once it does, the rain will begin to move away. And then tomorrow night and Friday, colder temperatures will filter in, cold enough so that we see some flurries fly with temperatures falling below the freezing mark. Our skycast for later this evening, there's the rain moving back in by 10 p.m. Showers off and on tonight along with a breeze, but by 7 tomorrow morning, most of the rain should be done with. Exiting to the east, a spotty shower perhaps tomorrow, but much of the daylight hours look to be precipitation free, and there will likely be some glimpses of sunshine, especially in the afternoon. Again, with the colder air arriving tomorrow night, some flurries a possibility as clouds thicken again. Very early Friday morning, scattered flurries, perhaps over portions of Allen and Auglaize counties. Not expecting much of any snow accumulation, but flurries will likely fly. Cloud cover for our Friday afternoon, another chance of a flurry or two for Friday night and off and on into the day Saturday. Again, doesn't look to be a big deal, but flurries are likely, at least at times. Rainfall with this cold front, a quarter to a half inch, a good general average for much of our viewing area. Temperatures later this evening, falling back perhaps a couple of degrees, upper 30s to near 40 by 10 p.m. Temperatures will actually climb a little bit late tonight before that front goes on through. And then once it does, tomorrow it's going to take a while for temperatures to cool back. Much of the afternoon temperatures in the 40s, but tomorrow night we fall back to near or just below freezing. And then as we move ahead into our Friday in the afternoon, it's going to be quite a bit colder. Mid 30s for temperatures with the wind. It's going to be feeling like temperatures are in the 20s. Again tonight, showers around, especially from about late evening on. The breeze picks up temperatures in the upper 30s later this evening before climbing a bit for the second part of tonight. The steady rain exits by daybreak. Clouds and limited sun tomorrow. A spotty shower still possible. There's our high temperature at 47. Seven-day storm authority forecast for Friday. Lots of clouds, limited sun, scattered flurries. 37 are predicted high. More spotty flurries along with a cold breeze for Saturday. Highs only near 30. Clouds and limited sunshine still chilly on Sunday. It looks partly cloudy and cold Monday and Tuesday. More clouds next Wednesday than the chance of a round of snow or rain. More important precipitation possible next Thursday. Katie.